Hey everybody, call me Felix, and on this Tagai Thai food trip episode, we didn't realize it was Mother's Day, and virtually every restaurant we went to for lunch was fully booked. It was 3 in the afternoon when we went to Twin Lakes, and thankfully after two branches of this Japanese restaurant in Tagai Thai turned us away, third time was a charm, and we finally had our breakfast, lunch, merienda, and dinner all in one for a meal we called Marianner, featuring beautiful sushi and sashimi platters, as well as Filipino Japanese fusion in a bulalo ramen soup. Before we get into this episode, let's recap where we were last time on our Tagai Thai food trip. The night before, we also dined on Japanese food at an all you can eat hot pot chain from Metro Manila with a lucrative location at the Tagai Thai Sky Ranch called Nabe. For 500 pesos more or less per head, you can get several types of meat, vegetables, meat and seafood balls, and only rice and kimchi to dine on a 90 minute time limit. Although we thought the food was a decent value, we also thought the food was kind of pricey for what you get, as it was lacking premium items to make it a true bargain. If you want to check out our Tagai Thai food trip thus far, go ahead and click away on the Tagai Thai food trip playlist on the far right hand corner. We had quite the Mother's Day saga of finding a place to have a simple lunch to review, and with traffic also a serious obstacle everywhere in town, we had to push westward to Twin Lakes to see whatever establishment would have us. We reviewed the Twin Lakes branch of La Creperie very favorably the other day we were there. Thankfully, a little walk away from La Creperie, the third branch of Ozora Japanese restaurant accepted us, and we got to try perhaps the best known Japanese restaurant in Tagai Thai. The menu is chock full of traditional Japanese fare, but what makes this place unique is its bulalo ramen, the fusion of the famous beef shank soup from Tagai Thai and nearby Batangas with ramen features. We ordered quite a lot of items given our hunger of going most of the day without eating much of anything, and so we were famished, but were we satisfied with our meal at Ozora? Well, keep watching to find out. Mike, what is your best seller and your personal favorite on the menu? Uh, we have here uh, Ozora salad. Uh, That's for appetizer? Yes. Okay. So for our salad, it's um, for oh. our appetizer. Uh, um, uh, but what is that? Those are your best sellers? Are you sir? Those are your best yes, sellers? Sir. Those who have this. Ah, okay. Are best okay, so what is your personal favorite? Uh, seafood ramen. Seafood ramen, okay. And then if it's not soup, what else? Um, chicken yakitori, sir. Chicken yakitori? Chicken teriyaki. Oh, chicken, chicken teriyaki. And our maki, sir. Dragon maki and rainbow maki. What's maki? Uh, the rolls. The rolls. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, you want to give us a second to? Okay, yeah. Bye. Okay. <laughs> just <left. laughs> he just went up and left. Yeah. <laughs> that tends to happen. People wilting under pressure when we ask them questions about their menu. <laughs> Wilt under pressure, and you'll notice Ben is not here. Oh, what's right, Greg? Oh, no, it's a Ben. Sorry. Okay, everyone. We okay. We didn't realize it was Mother's Day today, so we went three hours around the whole of Tagai Thai, and they have like one-way streets all around, and so it makes it even worse to navigate. Wow. So we finally went to Twin Lakes again to try the Alzora Japanese restaurant. Now, it's the funny thing is we <laughs> went to the other two branches of the And they were place. filled and uh, yeah. the wait was like an hour for the meal. Yeah, so, so we were supposed to go somewhere else, like a farm to table restaurant. Yeah. And so we just said, okay, let's, let's just, just cross something off the list and so on and so forth. It's three past three in the afternoon. 3.30. We're hungry. <laughs> we had not had breakfast. We had not had lunch. And so we're having Marianne. Marianne. Hashtag Marianne. <laughs> yes. Marianne. When it's not quite dinner and it's not quite Marianne and it's not quite lunch, it's Marianne. It's Marianne. Marianne <laughs> and dinner. Yes, indeedy. Okay. So. We just got suggestions, and I don't think that was very helpful. So I think. No, was not I, so I think we're just gonna wing it and just order what we yeah. feel like. That's what you should do at a restaurant when they don't or stingy with suggestions, or they want to give you the Miss Universe answer on the entire menu. You just you just say, "All right, I'm just gonna order what I like." Now, unfortunately, that order what you like hurt us at bag of beans, and it hurt us at um, lime and basil. Yeah, those were not good. That was not good food. Okay. So, 
Apparently these little symbols on the side. The little Tories? Yeah, are favorites, apparently. So I guess that'll help us figure it out. Yeah. There aren't that many of them though. Yeah, they're not. They're not that many Tories. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna wing it everyone. We're just gonna take whatever There's three on the whole menu. There's sukiyaki, which I guess you should share. Because it's US beef sweet soy sauce. So I don't really uh, like I don't like I don't really like though. sweet stuff though. So sukiyaki. Yeah, I think we had enough sweet stuff over the last restaurants. Oh gosh. Jeez. Mm. Diabetes. <laughs> they said that Azora salad was good, which is mixed greens topped with fresh crab sticks and fried crab sticks. Fried Wasabi crab mayo sticks? and sesame dressing. Okay, that sounds interesting. Okay, let's try that. Okay. And what else? Um, let's do salmon sashimi and uni sashimi. Mmm, yes. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Yes, How about maybe. some octopus? Oh, you're the one who wants octopus, huh? Yeah. Or you can get the mixed sashimi. Just get the mixed. Let's get the mixed. Yeah. Therefore, we'll know what we want. Okay. Yeah. Azor is all it. Mixed sashimi. Yeah. Okay. Next page. Apparently, their maki roll is good. I don't yes. know. Their dragon good. roll. Dragon roll and rainbow maki. Okay. okay. Let's do that. Oh, fried rice, huh? Mm. How exciting. But they have yeah. wazi fried rice good for one person. <laughs> yeah. Let's just get the Zora fried rice. Yeah. Oh, Zora fried rice, Zora yes. fried rice. Okay. And then our grilled section, look at this. Wazi beef, no, we're not really in for that. Pork belly sizzling squid. Hamachi jaw. Ooh la la. Ooh, where? The bottom. Mm. Hamachi jaw's good. Thank yes. You. Ooh, you finally have a fish that you like. Okay, hamachi yeah. jaw. And then they have a bunch of katsu, and then they have a bunch of yakitori, huh? Oh, I don't like that it's chicken breast though. It has to be thigh. <laughs> yeah, chicken wings. It was a wait, everyone. Gosh. What time did it start? We're past 4 o'clock now. <laughs> or Marianne. Or Marianne. <laughs> Marianne. Or Merlanier for us. Merlanier for us. Okay, we have some assorted sashimi and rainbow roll. So we are in the sushi round. Yay. Okay, so on our sashimi plate, we have some octopus, we have crab stick, we have tamago, omelette, mackerel, maguro, tuna, and salmon. What should we go for first? I think maybe the tuna. Tuna, looks good. It looks a little bit firm. It looks firm and then um, dark pink. You can put that there. Thank you. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you drown yours. No. Oops. Okay. Mm. Mm. I'm just hungry. Mm, it's good. Mm. It's more tender than I thought. Yeah. Mmm. Tender and fresh. Good. Salmon next. Oh, salmon. Our favorite. Our favorite. Our favorite. Nice coating there. Nice sheen. Wait, wait, wait. I'll get it. Sorry. Yeah, thanks. Welcome. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Mm. This one has a little more chew, but I don't mind it. The fatty? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Just a little bit of a river taste, but it's good. Yeah. Pickled ginger. Mm. Cleanse the palate. I think there's some uni on here, if I'm not mistaken. Uni? Or maybe, the, or no, maybe it's unavailable, huh? No, there's no, no. uni as part of it. As part of the sampler? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't see that. Mm. Okay. What's this? Crab stick? No, 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 this. Looks like um, spicy tuna. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Some diced up. Like poke. Okay. By itself? I just did. Hmm. Mm. There's got some fried bits though. Mm. 
like a tempura. Mmm. Oh. It's good. Wow. <laughs> Tamago. Sweet egg. Get this. Nice thing in there. Sweet egg. You want mm. this? Oh, well, it's a variety. It's a little cold. Eh. This one. Tamago. Uh, Let's have our octopus down. Looks like it's been lightly blanched. Mm. Or octopi. Hmm. Well, chewy. Mm. A little bit chewy. And a little more of that the squiddy type of taste. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Not bad. Crab stick? Crab stick. This one has uh, it's sweet but and it has the shreds kind of disintegrating. Mm -hmm. But really crab tasting. Um, mackerel. This is the least favorite out of all my... Because it's... Mackerel's very gamey. Mmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if this one's gonna be the same. Let's see. Or it has like that iodine taste. I don't know if this... Yeah, it's iodine. Is it? Yeah. It does. This one does. And then it has like that sour twang. Yeah. Is that raw or do they blanch that? I think it's raw. Really? Mm. Mm. Or yeah, I think it's slightly blanched. Mm. Not bad. Not bad sampler. Mm. You want the octopus, Chris? Okay. We have uh, a few things on our plate now. Um, the Azora salad. And then, or the top salad, and then this um, dragon roll. I'll try a rainbow roll out with the salmon. Mm. Some ah, tamago and then some tuna. Let's this one. And there's a nice creaminess in the like interior. And the cucumber and the things. shrimp, nice. Rice is about as good as the texture, and creamy. Compliments well with a fresh fish. Mm, there's a bit of mango in this one. That one? Yeah. No, no more sweetness. I don't mind it. Here's some. Mm. Mm. Wow, that salad looks really good. Mm -hmm. Too good to eat with that presentation. Look how with that. You wanna mix it up, Chris? Yep. Yeah. Okay, we'll move on to some fried stuff. Get some tonkotsu. Hmm. Meat though kind of looks a little dry. What it looks like here. Mm -hmm. The big old crust of breadcrumbs. There you go. Dry? Yeah, it's a bit. Or yeah, it's really ordinary tasting. Yeah. It's not, just ordinary. Yeah. Yeah, it's just basically fried pork. And some, some you know, panko. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Really generic tasting. Okay. I'm wait for Chris to mix our salad. That looks quite good. I guess while Chris is doing that. Our table's dancing. Yes, so while Chris is doing that, we're gonna go for our tempura, our dragon roll. Let me just get this on the... Just get a portion like that in the middle. There we go. Oh shoot. There we go. 
Mm. It's dragon roll. Then it feels like it has more of the tempura crumbs and more of the seaweed. I wish there was a little more of um, a little more shrimp from that batter. All put together, it's pretty good, especially like the gnawing. Kind of getting that fishy tea, tea taste. Mm. Pleasant, but nothing super special. Okay, first let's get our salad mixed up. Oh. You wipe your plate already so that it's clean. Yes. Yeah, get out of here, fly. Put it on the table. Hmm. Okay. Well, waiting for that, I think I'll just go for one of these yakitori. I think it's a thigh. I got. No Where's, sauce for that. Where's the sauce, though? Is it this? I guess. No. It, what's this? Excuse me. I'll take it first. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have yakitori sauce. I'm just gonna wing it and just go in the ikatsu sauce. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Yeah, it's not the sauce for that. Seriously, thank you, Chris. How is that? It's reasonably tender, but by me. I kind of got like a light black pepper seasoning. Eh. It's not the sauce though, because it's kind of overpowering. <laughs> is there a sauce for this, the yakitori? Or is it that? Okay. At the same time. Yeah. Okay. okay. Fair enough, but hmm. let's just move this down a bit like that. Yes. Mm. Okay. And that yakitori sauce. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Mind you. <laughs> now this sauce is a little it's different from this. It's not as overpowering. You know, it's kind of like a like a mirror and sweetness. Eh, it's okay. That's your under season. Mm -hmm. The yakitori itself. Eh. Let me see. What do we go to next? We have bowls here. I think this must be the ramen. The bowl of ramen. Mmm. Surprise. So they make a traditional ramen, but they base it off of um, bulalo, a local soup here in Tagai Thai. Mm -hmm. Yeah, apparently. To have Chris serve us some soup. The old beef chunk there. Oh man. I'm gonna try your salad while. He's yeah. Doing that. Yeah, while he's doing that, I'm gonna try my salad. Alzor salad. Some green, some crab, I think. Definitely a nice coverage of mayo. Zucchini. Come on. Creaminess of the protein. Most of it has like a sharp citrus edge. So sharp sesame citrus edge. Excuse me. Yeah, Mm. Yeah, I think that salad pretty much serves its purpose. It's good. You want more, sir? Maybe a little bit. Okay. It's a lot of dressing, no? Yeah, it is a lot of dressing. It's sweet. Yeah. It's sweet. Um, okay. Let's try our ramen out. The house special ramen. Okay, there we go. I get this. Mm. It's 
It's a very mild, light, bulalo flavor. Very light. Let's put that there for now. Get some noodles. These noodles look like an egg noodle stick. Oh, thank you. This noodle is about right where it has to be cooked because a little over and this becomes soggy, basically. So it's not, not exactly al dente, but because I think it's a wider noodle. Ooh, let's have some of this big beef. Big piece of beef. Hmm, my beef shank's lean. Mild beef flavor, basically. Not as like bodacious, like bodacious. Nah, boldly. It's not as boldly beefy as bulalo. So it's a very reserved soup. Mm. <laughs> Definitely getting the fried garlic. So basically the soup is really mild in flavor, except for those bits of fried garlic. Mm. The flavors are all very muted, huh? Yeah. In this meal. <laughs> except for the salad. Except for the salad. Really I'm going to have to tell, correct you on that one. <laughs> but yeah, really muted. But the ramen, for me, not as not boldly flavor, not as boldly flavorful. Yeah. How are the noodles though? Were they cooked like the noodles from the other restaurant yesterday? They're smooth, but I mean they're very different. I mean because these are like egg noodles. Mm -hmm. Okay, time for some fried rice. Let's have this fried rice. Hmm. You don't get that one. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Thank you. No, 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 no. Okay, bye, bye. Huh? Yeah, that fried rice is really fluffy, but it's very redolent of the cra the crab stick and then the light beans. What do you think about those noodles? It's like spaghetti. Yeah. To me, but but not as dente. Yeah. yeah. Not really a fan. Not a bit. Okay. But yeah, the fried rice has like. An accentuation on the crab stick. Mm. Pretty good. You gotta eat it with other things in my purview. That's pretty good. Not bad. But it's just fried rice. Let's try out our other yakitori. Oh, this is the enoki, huh? Enoki beef. Mm, enoki beef. Okay. Mm. No good beef. All right, push that down a bit so then we can get ready for the bite. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Definitely has a full beefy sweetness. It's a little bit too crisp, though. Or a little overdone, but mushroom is nice. Yeah, this is pretty good. I wish it wasn't so, you know, basically cook it just a little bit under, it'd be perfect. Need some salt. Then with some salt, yeah. Hmm. Okay, bacon time. And we still have that salmon, red salmon filet. Oh, they still gave that? I thought they were going to give the salmon head. I thought so too. Hmm, okay. Time to get some of the bacon. There. There's no room. 
The bacon and potato. Mm. Bacon could use a little more salt to her. And then the potato, uh, it needs to be a little that firm, but eh. I'm not really wild about that combination though, for, for a yakitori. <laughs> I almost thought it was cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to try that. The salmon belly. Mm, don't know how to attack it. Okay. Let's try it out. Deep fried salmon belly. Ooh. Mm, bacon. Um, Where's your tartar sauce? Tartar sauce is over here. All the way over here. Okay. We make the relocation yet. Okay. Mm. The breading is relatively lighter than I was thinking. I think I would just bathe it in the tartar sauce myself. Pretty good. But lacking a wow thing for me. Yeah. It's all very muted. I don't. Flavors are very not. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not really hitting bold flavors here, really. I mean, maybe the beef, and that was it. But generally speaking, not really muted meal. Like, have like a lemon or something that made right. So yeah, I need freshness. something bright. Bring it life. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of really pedestrian. This. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, everyone. I think that's it. That's all we have to say. It's just so pedestrian. Okay. Let's try to finish as much as we can because we're really hungry. But not really satisfied. Yeah. I, think should, I think we should go to the crepery. It's not yeah, too far I think from so here. Too. Okay, back after this. You're <laughs> nodding your head. And yes, after another underwhelming meal in Tagaytay, we went back to La Creperie for our saving grace, and we enjoyed our second visit, although we didn't bother to film it. On our next episode of our Tagaytay food trip, we're actually heading down the mountainside into the province of Batangas to an exclusive new boutique resort with arguably the best lakeside view of Taal Lake and Taal Volcano. Before we head down to lakeside level, we had to have a heavy lunch at Tagaytay's popular big house for upscale modern Filipino dining without skimping on the family portion size or sacrificing heritage. Next time we're at Balay Daco, which in Nagrense means a big house. And appropriately, there's a huge menu of mouth-watering, impressive sounding Filipino dishes to try to the extent that it was hard to focus on a few dishes. And given the reputation of the Antonio's restaurant group, our expectations were quite high going into this lunch. When some vloggers zigged in covering Balay Daco, we zagged in our order as we selected four main dishes that represented different aspects and regions of Filipino cuisine, from the Ilongo alternative to Bulalo called Kansi, a universally popular dish in Crispy Bata, Spanish Filipino cuisine in Cayos, and then perhaps the best value dish that's flying under the radar on the Balay Daco menu, a Southeast Asian fusion dish involving spring duck. All this and more when we go to the Antonio's own big house in Tagaytay for Filipino gastronomy. And so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as that helps a lot. And better yet, please subscribe for more of our food and travel videos to come. Until the next time, keep cool but care and remember, the Empire never ended.